Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the born of the city apostles. You know, it was a great millstone. Peace and salutations. So, hopefully, you let. I got a clip on IG that I want to replay, and then we can um, dive into it through the Spirit. God is good. God is good. Amen. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I thought you were going to no, say God is great. No. Thank you for the God full is eight. great. No. <laughs> no. no. God, right, God, give it I'm, I'm going to do you, Charlemagne. Yes. Charlemagne, God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. That's right. Where's that from? Jesus church. Christ can't. It's church. God well, is good all actually, the time. But why that's, do you say all the time back? Where's that's black, that from? Black church. God it's is good all the time. Church. Oh. Everybody said it. Oh, I, okay. I Did you go to black that churches? One. No, I, I guess I, I didn't go to enough black churches growing up. Right, so basically, they're on the, um, the breakfast club. And they're, you know, mocking at the fact that Candace Owens doesn't understand or know th this saying. And this is correct. <laughs> you know, that's why she mentioned she didn't go to a black church enough because this is what they say in a black churches. But you learn nothing. All right. You don't learn the true understanding of the Holy Scriptures. You don't learn the true way of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son or what He expects from you. You don't learn anything. Right. Most, the, the most you may learn is, uh, you know, the, the gossip talk that happens in those places. Right. You might learn the different choir songs, if anything. But regarding the true understanding of the scriptures. Right. You don't know it because you wouldn't say this saying because this saying is not true. Right. What they say, God is good all the time. These, these people don't understand you know, the true ways of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in, in the name, Baha Shem, of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Right? They don't understand it. They don't understand when we read scriptures like this. Let's get straight into it. But they have no idea, you know, have no idea that the scripture even exists. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45. Verse, um, let's see, verse seven, it says, I form the light and create darkness. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, right? When you see the Lord in all caps, that's the Heavenly Father's name, Yahweh. It's supposed to be there, right? It says, I, Yahweh, do all these things. You see? So everything around you, everything that you see is created by the Heavenly Father. And the Lord says what? He created darkness. He created light. He makes the peace. He creates the evil. You see? So when you say God is good all the time, all the time God is good, that's not true. That's not true. Yes, he's merciful. Yes, he's loving. Yes, he's compassionate. But he's also about what? Judgment. Okay? He's also he also has wrath. He also has anger. He also has jealousy. But y'all don't mention these things, though. Y'all don't mention these things at all. Let's get this one in the book of Exodus chapter 15. Verse 3 it says, Yahweh is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. You see? So that puts a stop to that madness when y'all try to say, you know, uh, what if or is God as a woman? No, he's a man. Okay? He's a man of war. You see? That's how his his uh, uh his uh, everlasting ancient of days spirit operates. Okay? Manly. All right? But y'all don't know these things. So that's why y'all quick to say God is good all the time. That saying is not true. The book of Amos, chapter three, verse, verse six, it says, shall a trumpet be blown in a city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and Yahweh have not done it? Now, yes, this is being posed as a question, but we already know the Lord is the one who created evil. The Lord is the one who sanctioned 
sanctions everything that happens upon the planet Earth, whether you can receive it or not. Okay, but everything goes through him. You see, nothing is sanctioned and, or done without what? Without his permission. You know, and also, if you know, know this, you should, uh, there's another scripture. It says what? Uh, that's in the book of Job, right? It says, the deceived and the deceiver are his. Let me, let's get that. It's in the book of Job, chapter 12. Is it 16? Yep. Uh, the book of Job, Job chapter 12, verse 16, it says, With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. Check that out. You see? So everything is on a, the operating table. Everything is under uh, uh, the banner of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. So even the deceit, so the deceived person and the deceiver. Okay, the one that's doing the deceiving, they all belong to the Lord. Right? You go, there's a story, and I don't have the time to do it. Go into it because I want to pull up other things that, uh, you know, I, for, I forget the, the uh, particular king. Right? But, uh, you know, the Lord sent a, a, a lying uh, a prophet, you know, unto him. Ultimately, so he could be what? So he can go up and to be destroyed in battle. And then the, on top of that, the angels did what? You know, when the Lord asked and said, who's going to go deceive him? Roughly paraphrasing, who's going to go uh, deceive him? That You know, the angel, uh, a particular angel said how he was going to do it. And the Lord was like, you know what? Yeah, I, I like that idea, you know? Speaking as a man, I, like, go, go yeah, do, do that, right? That's going to work. You see? Because the Lord deceives him to be destroyed. Okay. And, you know, you got to understand back then in the ancient, in the ancient times, who did kings and who did the people look unto, right? When they look up to, or uh, unto, you know, the, the ones who would get the vision, which would be the seers, also known as, as prophets. All right. So that's how that was. All right. Now, I wanted to touch on something else real quick, because this is just something quick. Something quick. Isaiah chapter. Uh, 66. It says. Uh, we'll start at verse 15. It says, for behold, Yahweh will come with with fire and with, and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. You see, so there's, there's another scripture that you know that the Lord has emotions too, and that he is what? That he is angry. Says he's a jealous power, right? Says he uh, uh, has, has, uh, has wrath, you know, and that he will bring wrath and judgment upon the planet Earth, right? So quit just, quit just trying to mention the good traits that he, that he has, because also, what does the scripture say? At full and false balance is an abomination to the Lord. So just to be all, you know, uh, one, let's just say of all good, that's a false balance. There's no balance in that. No, the Lord is, you know, he, he uh, you know, he does good. And then you can say so-called does bad, but it's not really bad in the sight of the eyes of the Lord. We just, we just think that way with our, our minuscule minds. You know, because all the judgments of the Lord are righteous. You know, we just may look at things and think certain things are good and bad. But, you know, but everything that the Lord does is correct and righteous in his sight. OK, he can't, he can't do no wrong. You see, we just look at it that way from our lenses or our standpoint. You see, but everything the Lord does is righteous like this. Like, uh, example, um, you had children. That mocked Elisha, right? A man of the Lord. Okay? And what happened? Elisha put a curse on those children. And then 42 uh, she bears came up and ate 42 of those children. Now, we will look at this thing like, oh, man, that was bad. You know? Why would the Lord do that? But every, everything, every, uh, his judgments are right. Okay? But like I said, from our lenses, we're like, oh, that's bad. Why would he do that? You know? God is a bad individual. That's what people would say, right? But that's not the case. This is not true. 
You see? Hope you understand what I'm saying. Let me see. Judgments. All right. Oh, come on, man. There we go. All right. Let's read this. Psalm chapter 19, verse 9. The fear of Yahweh is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of Yahweh are true and righteous altogether. You see? All together. All right. So I just wanted to bring that out to the spirit. You know, just some something real quick that I seen that I came across, and I was like, well, look, I gotta, you know, I wanted to touch on that. You know, because this is a, a saying that have been said for I don't even know how long. You know, but it isn't true. You see, and I'm and Lord willing, I'm gonna dive more into I'm gonna dive more into these uh different things, uh phrases and, and things of that sort that is has always been said, but that just aren't true, right? From the biblical standpoint. So with that I wanna say shalom.